This game I played a few days ago, it's fun because it's questions we either have to answer ourselves or if it might be directed towards everybody else. And I think you take a big gulp of your drink if two people know that you didn't answer fully honestly. Does that work? The more we drink, the more the questions are going to be answered, so. <laughs> Joe. Okay. Is there someone in your life you hold real resentment towards? Uh, yeah, the ballerina that... <laughs> <laughs> that talked about your small penis? <laughs> she talked about my penis. She didn't, I don't... She, talk, she didn't talk about my small penis. <laughs> That ballerina. So this day, I think she was talking shit, and I don't, I'm not cool with it. <laughs> Drink all that. Drink it all. That was the truth, though. Doesn't matter. It's a terrible answer. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. It's yeah. on Nick. Bullet. Do you regret anything? Yeah, of course. I regret, like, so much shit all the time. Let's say specifically the, just, the, the brothers. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's all encompassing. Um, biggest regret in regards to the brothers. Um, season two of Jonas. It was a big regret. We shouldn't have done that. It really stunted our growth, you know? I feel like it was just a bad move. Yeah. Like, it was just not the time, and, and it, it, literally, we, we couldn't evolve because of it. Do you think that's when things started changing? I think I became frustrated because I was in those sessions to write the music and like you guys didn't want to do that. And so I just felt like a little bit of resentment, that seed of getting angry that you guys weren't in it with me there, mm -hmm. creatively felt shitty. It's me. Why did you play a Jonas Brothers radio show after we broke up? Oof. Poof. Um, I think it's because we felt you were holding us back. That's the truth. I think there was... Um, moments that Nick and I wanted to do our own thing and we felt like your focus was not in it anymore and it wasn't a priority for you and starting the family was and your guitar playing kind of like fell in the back seat. And I think we wanted to both continue doing music. And I think we had these gigs in front of us. Now, as I think back on it, I realize like how fucked up it is going to take a Jonas Brothers gig and you weren't on stage. But it took me time to understand having someone in my life that I'll do fucking anything to see Sophie for an hour. All of those years, our first love was music. First love was the band. And so for me as a teenager and a young adult, to see you prioritize anything but was bad. But it took me a long time to understand that. Like you found love very young. Um, and I think you do know now too, it's a balance. Back then we didn't feel like you even tried that. We felt like it was just like, the show's done, I'm out. And it was like, fuck. Like, sometimes that hang with brothers is so important. Can I get that? I love you. I'm sorry that you had to uh, go through that. Yeah. Carry on. Leave it there. I got my card. <laughs> <laughs>